Got another amp test. Uh, today I have a Kicker CX 1200.1. Now this is Kicker's like bottom of the barrel line. Uh, this is about as low as it gets. This is real cheap. I am not expecting this to do what it's supposed to do, but hey, it might surprise me. So this amp goes for like 249 retail, and it is rated at 1200 watts RMS at 14.4 volts at 2 ohm. So I'm going to go ahead and put this through some tests. I'm going to do certified, uncertified, and dynamic, just like always. And uh, we'll see what it does. I looked up to the dyno. I'm going to go ahead and run the certified test. I have it tuned to just at the point of 1% distortion. So this should give us our certified power at 1 ohm. Again, I don't expect this amp to do rated, but we'll see what it does. All right, here we go. For 40 hertz test tone. Holy shit, look at that. 1100 watts. Damn. That is a lot more than I thought it was going to do. And that was a 12.64 volt. So, given that, at 14.4 volts where this amp is rated, this amp will do 1200 watts or more, it looks like. That is really impressive, actually. I was not expecting that. All right, let's go ahead and try an uncertified test. I'm going to go ahead and retune this with a 10 dB overlap, and that should bring us up to clipping. All right, we'll see we're what reset we can get there. back at 2 ohm. I have the amp retuned. We're going to go ahead and do another test. This is going to be 4 ohms uncertified. I mean, uh, 2 ohm uncertified, 40 hertz. Let's see if this thing will squeeze out a little bit more power. not much more 56 watts more so not a ton more and that was at 12.07 volts so I was expecting a little bit more uncertified but hey still this is getting damn close to rated so dynamic we should see this thing well overrated I'm hoping here we go see dynamic test I'm um, charged back up let me reset the voltage here and get a true voltage. So this is just going to be basically a burp at uh, 2 ohms, 40 hertz. And here we go. Oh, let me turn this back on. Eleven eighty four. All right, not what I was expecting. Okay, so not a huge difference between uncertified, certified, and dynamic. 1184 at 13.51 volts. Huh. All right, just for the hell of it, let's go ahead and run this thing a little bit lower than 2 ohm. Let's try 1.6 and maybe 1 ohm. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this on a 1 ohm, uh, 1 1.6 ohm test. Hopefully it'll do it and not go into protect. And get this damn thing to focus. There we go. Alright, so here we go. 1.6 ohm. Fourteen eighteen. It's pretty damn good. At thirteen point five eight volts. Pretty happy with that. Just for the hell of it. Let's uh let's go ahead and do a one ohm test. See if it'll do one ohm.
1545 13.78 volts so it will do one ohm it's pretty impressive out of this little amp I don't know if you realize how small this is I mean there's my hand this is a tiny tiny amp very very small I was not expecting it to do anywhere near what it was rated at so pretty impressive and again this is their bottom line amp $249 for 1200 watts pretty happy with that alright so that's it uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll keep doing more tests